Hello, I'm Z, and welcome to Decontamination, an indie, maybe horror game, by Ken Forrest, who I recently played another of one of his games called Spruceria. This one just came out though, and I'm quite excited to see what it's about. On the topic of decontamination, I have to say, I'm still sick, so my body is trying to decontaminate me a bit. Fitting, isn't it? Let's play. A few years ago, an infestation arose on Earth for unknown, reason, unknown reasons. Most of the people died. Some parts of the Earth are already completely dead. Humanity is determined to save the planet. Your work for the contamination organization... Oh, you work for the decontamination organization. You are entrusted with the task. You need to clear the forest area. You need to remove polluted water and neutralize volca volcanoes and collect your... Your... Your Good luck. All right. Oh, day one. Oh, we've got multiple days. Oh, that's that's gonna go splendid, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Goose. It's got a mask on. All right. Pump out. Need pump too. So, any tools that I might have, you know? No? Nothing? I can run. That's not reassuring. Oh, I have tools. I just... I have to scroll. I didn't even look up there. Mm-hmm. Alright. Pump tool. No, this isn't it. Oh, this is it. It sounds very slimy, you know. Very, very slimy. This is like spray for the volcano? Maybe? Anyways, um... I have to like actually find something. There we go. Is it like on my radar? Oh, yeah, it is. Freeze. Oh. There's a freeze gun. We're Mr. Freeze from DC. We're doing our job here. How much? Oh, God, that's quite a bit. All right. Pick this up, pump this out. Is it just me or the more you pump, like, the, the faster it gets? Like, look, this is a lot faster than the first one, right? Yeah, that's a lot faster. Just to watch, I'm not gonna remember the way to my car. So, this pollution, it's all uranium, or what kind of pollution are we talking about here? This kind of make me uh, think a bit of, like, <coughs> how do you call it? Uh, what was it? Command and Conquer, you know? Uh, Tiberian Wars, where uh, you'd have, like, Tiberium growing, you know, and stuff. And infecting people, and uh, you couldn't live there because you'd get Tiberium poisoning. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I suggest you go uh, look up Command and Conquer. It's a strategy game, so if you don't like those, you don't have to. But it's 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 a good one. I like it a lot. I'll be playing some more on my channel soon. I already played uh, Tiberian Wars, as I said. I have to play play Red Alert. That's complete. Really? Like I'm done. I'm not done. Oh, you mean like that task is complete. Now I just got, okay, volcanoes and uranites. Or, I think that's what it's called. Uran, no, uraninites. That's frozen. I 
I actually don't know how long this game is. Although, fun fact, it is, I literally just woke up, like, I don't know, minutes ago. So, let's hope it all goes well. I have to find one more volcano. I don't believe this game has multiple endings. Which makes my life a bit easier. Uh, but if you remember Spurserio, the game I played, like, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? No, it wasn't two weeks ago. It was this week, I think, actually. Get back to the van. Yeah, but, like, where's my van? Oh, there. Here. Goose? Alright, leave. Alright, so, if you remember... That game was made in two weeks, and it was it was okay. It was a bit complex when it came to like the whole drinking tea and everything. New assignment: clear the swamp. It is required to collect Gelidu odor as well to catch frogs. Why catch frogs? The commander said the frogs have the least chance of getting infected, and therefore this is the best bet at the moment. <laughs> Frog vets, day two. Yeah, so, like I said, I don't know how many days this has. Uh, but Spruceria was made in two weeks, which was... Which is quite short for making a game, you know? Uh, but this game was made in 72 hours for the Ludum Dare. Where? Where'd that one go? Did I catch it? How many do I have to catch frogs? 25. And a Galeodor. Oh, that's just, like, collect from something. Alright. Yeah, I see. Well, now that's orange. That's no longer green, so we're not talking about ABRM here. Oh, gosh. I like this. It's got a nice atmosphere. I don't think it's an actual horror game. As much as I, I would like it to... Uh, B. I don't think it is. Although it's got a really nice atmosphere. You can't like scan for frogs, can you? No. I heard a I heard a frog. Where is it? I don't know. I don't see any. Oh, here. You guys like frogs in real life? I think they're quite alright. Cleaning out the forest is all nice. Except I think we're also doing harm to it, because frogs... Aren't frogs supposed to be here for a reason? Like, to care for the forest, and we're just kind of taking them? So now I just need the ore, which is going to be easy. I'll just look, at, look for it with this. Yeah, there's some... Oops. No. Oh. It's that way. That's that's the way I saw that one. Yep. Now we just have to get back to our van. Hey goose. Yeah. I agree. Alright, so that's that's day two done. You did not receive messages about any new mission from the commander, but you received a message from an unknown user. It contained only numbers. It's like coordinates. You got curious. You went to those coordinates. Okay, maybe this is a horror game. Considering this, uh, it might just be. Oh. Since when do we have purple as a color? 
available for our palate to eat in, uh... Oh, lavender, that's nice. Probably lavender. Oh, uh, that... Hmm. All right. Really overgrown lavender. That's all it is. There's like frozen rocks of nothing. <coughs> Sorry. I meant to mute, mute myself there. I didn't. What is that? I wonder how many times I've like accidentally not muted myself while coughing. That's the only time I've noticed. But yeah, I'm coughing a lot because I'm sick, as I said. Should hire this guy to like be contaminated in my body. Still, what are we exploring? Like, we're, we're reaching the edges here, and we're not really finding much. Right? Is it just me, or... Do we not, like... St oh! Oh, 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 hold on. Something big this way. What even is a chainsaw? Oh, no, it's a drill. Mind this. I think that's fine. What the f What am I looking at? Mine it some more. No? Oh. No, oh, that, that's normal. That's normal. Excuse me for thinking that. Would... You were very frightened by what, you, what was happening. At the same time, you enjoyed the beauty of the forest and flying manta rays. What it was and who sent you this message was not clear to you. You suddenly noticed that the purple mist is dissipating. The leaves on the trees are starting to turn green. Looks like you've delayed the inevitable virus. Manta rays. Flying manta rays were the reason. 72 hours for the Ludum Dare 50, yeah. Like I said. Uh, I think the theme for the Ludum Dare this time around was delay the inevitable. Right? Delay, uh, you're delaying the inevitable by some way, and this was like through decontamination. Um... And it was really nice, yeah. Especially when you compare it to uh, his other game, Spusario, which was done in two weeks. And uh, it's already a really short time, but to make an even bigger project uh, in a shorter time is really cool to see. Uh, I'll be on the lookout if he does any more games, because I really love his style. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I really enjoyed the game. I really did it's it's nice there's nice atmosphere it's not fully horror but it's it's like the first zone you're you're a bit on edge you know in case something happens in the second zone you're like okay i gotta collect frogs and stuff you kind of forget in the third zone you're like where am i why why did someone bring me here or tell me to go here what are the rentaries it's like you know it's a bit more mysterious i liked it I like the atmosphere and it's, it's nice when a game doesn't do jump scares. Um, I don't like jump scares. Not because they're... Um, not because they're actually scary. Not, not that. I do get scared from jump scares. But that's not a reason. I think... Um, I think they ruin the atmosphere of it a bit. right? Because if you're going in a forest or somewhere... <coughs> okay, excuse me. And it's, it's like... Um, really tense you know because something might happen 
and then you just get jump scared you immediately after that get lose all sense of any any tension essentially you're just like oh okay yeah this thing this thing scared me now and it's it's um you're like you get accommodated with it right it, it loses a charm of the game i don't like that and also they're cheap <laughs> I mean, that's the main, uh, main point people make against them, right? Jump scares are cheap. Anyways, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.